I consider temporary insanity. Ronnie, you think that tail wheel got flattened out a little bit? Wow, that's a big one. I could jump on the back of that. <laughs> I did the most amazing thing. When I went down, I was actually at the edge of the trees when I pulled up. I went into the trees from the bottom. And the model came out in pieces from the top of the tree like fireworks. Whoa, look at that. Whoa, babe. Take that wig off our Lord and we'll be Larry, Moe, and Curly Joe. <laughs> Just come out here to hang out with the guys. They don't even fly. Some of them don't even bring airplanes. Socializing was great. Uh, it, it, you're, you're meeting with people that have a common bond and building and flying radio controlled model aircraft. He broke the wheel! <laughs> <laughs> Just the romance and the beauty and and the and the the wonder of, of, of the Warbird machine just uh, fascinates me. Let's do a little. Just make sure I got everything going in the right direction and hooked up. I lost one of these due to a aileron failure. That's good. That's good. Okay. That thing's too smooth, Dale. She's gonna have to rank that thing up a little bit. Uh, well, you give me right. a, give me a shot or two at it. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent radio. I've yet, so far, better qualify that to have a uh, glitch with it. If we're not flying our airplanes, we are in essence flying our mouths as we talk and have camaraderie with each other. Y'all take it easy. You already had your day, huh? Yeah, I got some honeydews to do. I can almost do a knife edge. You never can get them synchronized. But you get them pulling them as close as you can together. For Warbird, it's unbelievable because it's just stable as it can be. It's the chance.
challenge is the challenge. And then I've had some moments where I say, why am I doing this? <laughs> to fly so bad as a pilot that you know, you know, I can taste it. I believe that. You don't have to film this. <laughs> this, this is not part of the archive. <laughs>